Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Lone Echo 2. We're in here with a bunch of ticks and we had to do something here. I think they said, uh, get the biomass. Is that because I'm looking at it? Uh, I guess we can talk about that. But somewhere around here is going to be the biomass. Uh, I was looking, it's right there. You have to look directly. This container must have lost power at some point. Unfortunately, it appears its contents have escaped. So How we're... certain are we that a functional container is still here? Based on the logs. One stock container arrived shortly before the lockdown. Hopefully, it remains intact. We're safe. Yeah, the ticks got out. They were in here. Um, don't touch biomass. That rock looks like one of those robots. Uh, so as long as there's just one at a time, then we're okay. That one's busted. This one's busted, otherwise it would have a different speech bubble. <laughs> Don't even have to look at it. Oh, there's a bunch of webs. How's this gonna work? Did you do it? I cloaked one of the sensors on this web, but it's not having the same effect as before. One of? How many sensors does this web have? At least four. Then this web must have been cultivating here for some time. It's possible this is where the outbreak originated. Unfortunately, Jack, your cloak emitter cannot sustain enough insulation fields to blind all of those sensors. There must be something else we can do. Agreed. I'll find a way to retract the web. Transformer. There is an electrical transformer here. Its power field appears to be keeping all nearby biomass active. Any chance there's a bypass hooked up to it? Effectively? No. That subsystem has been consumed by the biomass. Lovely. Well, uh... Oh, maybe... <laughs> yeah, duh. Cloak the sensors. Cloak the power source. Nicely done, Derp. Jack. That was unexpected. I'll need just a moment to further analyze the reconstructed targeting software. Ah, I see it now. The cloak emitter should be able to target power sources as well, as long as they're sufficiently compact. Copy that. Proceeding through the web now. Is this the cargo bay? Yes, and our containment There's unit cargo. is indeed intact. I'm still prepping the intake system. Should be ready by the time the container gets here, though. I'm assuming we have what we need. Whoa. We can show a full complement of ticks within. So, yes, Captain, we have what we need. Yeah, there's these ticks, too. Oh, shit. Uh, tell them about... Uh, I am hesitant to consider that need fulfilled until we successfully move the container out of the facility. Fair enough. We'll send a car ah, drone to pick up once you're ready. Acknowledged. I'll get the door. Wait, so like, uh... Okay, and then we can move them. They didn't really tell me to do this, but it's like obvious. Whee! What if they have a maximum speed? Probably. Because we didn't need to go that way. No, we didn't. Ugh. Um, I didn't talk about the uh, container. A web just opened behind me. Collecting these ticks could not have been easy. The X3 synthetics did lose many shares in the process, but they performed their function. Yep, they're in perfect stasis. We need to go through here. I can reach the thing, right? I can't reach it. It's somewhere I can't see. Well, how does it see me? Uh. Oh. Uh. It doesn't. Oh, it, it makes it so it doesn't work. Okay. But it's safe to go this way. But not that way. Definitely gotta interact with this. Control panel. Are these the controls for the bay door? Correct. Exterior bay door. Copy that. We'll send over a cargo drone to retrieve the container. Shouldn't take too long. Jack, 
We'll just need you to manually release the container once the drone has secured it. Acknowledged. How do I do I'll that? Head to the cargo bay. From oh. this side, the web sensor is inaccessible. No, I drifted. I be leaving that way. I'm dying. Yes, that is unfortunate. Whatever. Get all the way in. <laughs> I'll see what I can find. I hit the brakes, but it was too late. Oh, you can leave a different way, duh. All right. <sighs> There's a unit, but I can't even talk about it. And it doesn't have any data. What the fuck? Why are we going this way? This sucks. Oh, there's a new Careful, thing. Jim. There's another form of the biomass nearby. You may have seen them before. Elongated structures with an affinity for spore dispersion. Indeed, cysts. Their rapid regrowth, even oh, no. after bursting, makes them particularly dangerous. This specimen appears somewhat different than the others I've previously encountered. It has Extra ugly. tentacles. <laughs> yes, I believe that particular adaptation manifested somewhat recently. The biomass has been evolving continuously since your time. Regardless, you'll want to keep your distance, if possible. This is the administration area. Once past the next hallway, Jack, you'll be back in the cargo bay. Uh, there's a charger over there? What the heck? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> is it turned on? Do it! There's a battery! Talk about the battery? Oh my god, charge faster. Like, I guess it has immersion or whatever, but really? Battery. Now that this battery has a charge, it is emitting a power field. This web must be sensing the battery's power field. Indeed. Any substantial power field will awaken all forms of biomass from dormancy. Uh, can I, like, chuck it? No. <laughs> oh, uh, I think I know. I think I know what to do. So we learned that, uh, we can shoot the transformer. What if we... Nicely done. Starting to get a feel for that cloak emitter, are we, Jack? Yep. It is quite effective. That is... Indisputable at this point. And it has brought us that much closer to a cure. For that alone, we should be grateful. We're getting stuff done. This dead guy. A girl. In this corridor, I found another casualty. Two, in fact. Dr. Stephen Garrick and senior technician Avery Park. Seems they were left behind in the evacuation. I doubt that. If they're here, it's probably because they chose to stay. I knew these people. Every research I hear understood what an outbreak would mean. That they would have to do whatever was necessary to try and protect the rest of the station. Jack, the cargo drone will be unable to retrieve the container until it's released from the loading pallet. Yeah, I get it. I just got here, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Oh, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. The container. Oh no, what, what do I do? It's too impossibly difficult to figure out. Tell me what an idiot I am. Slowly. Container released. Confirmed. Container primed for departure. Wait. We'll need to be hooked up once it gets here, Jack. Care to give it the final touch? I believe I would, yes. I doubt the procedure will take long. Okay then. See you in a few. Are, are we going? In T minus yeah, yeah, let's go. Seconds. Jack, if you're planning on accompanying the container, now would be a good time to take hold. I figured that out. <laughs> three, two, one. There ain't nothing to do here. Clusters. What about the crane? I don't care about the crane. They said, get the biomass, turn on the power. Uh, I don't remember. I don't think, wasn't, there was like three things, but we already did one of them, I think. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. I 
switched us to another comms channel for a moment. I have a somewhat personal question to ask you. Do you mind? Sure. Go ahead, Juno. Captain Rhodes, she considers you a friend, yes? Yeah. Yes, that is correct. How do you know? Um, she because said so. she has said so. Ah, that certainly simplifies things. In your case? How do you mean? I'm trying to discern if Dr. Harlan considers me a friend. Biometrics indicate he is still experiencing some distress, but I'm unsure if it would be appropriate for me to console him. What is your assessment? You can console me. Uh, d yeah, Based on my you'd like that. <laughs> I believe Dr. Harlan considers you a friend. He will appreciate Whoa. your efforts, even if he does not outwardly display it. Thank you, Jack. I agree with your assessment. I will do what I can to help the doctor feel better. Wait, did we just become friends? <laughs> I suppose we did. Splendid. I'll return calls to the public channel now. One day for us. You think we could make a closer approach than this? I don't even know what to do. There's no objective. Black. Bound to destination, decreasing speed for final descent. Looking good, cowboy Jack. Steady as she goes. Lookup controls are over near the cargo clamps. You want to get... I'll take it in. We're making such a uh, long approach. These things. Biomass container in place and ready to be secured. Go ahead, Jack. Oh. Intake control. Okay. We took it. Whoa. Biomass container secured in place. Copy that. System check, Juno. How did we do? Systems nominal. Both the fuel cell and biomass container are secure and fully engaged with the ship's intake systems. Well, Jack, looks like things are wrapped up here. No need for you to rush back, though. I'm not exactly eager to send you hurtling through time again. Of course. Also, Dr. Harlan could always use more data for his research, if you'd like to continue exploring the station. Copy that, Juno. You know. Tell me to do side quests. Uh, we don't need to do side quests. But if you're playing this game, do the side quests. It's just extra collectibles anyway. I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, I want to hear, you know, the voice things and whatever. Why does it do that? Uh, go to the Argos. Yeah. We got time, right? The ship. That's the ship right there, actually. Um, but to get on the ship, does it have, like, a boarding hatch? I forget. It's connected by like an umbilical, right? It's connected uh, to this thing right here. Oh, geez. Do you come in through the cargo hatch? No, you don't. The cargo doors are shut. I say this like I know, oh, it's a standard spaceship. It would work like this. I don't know that. <laughs> it's just like too much Elite Dangerous. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm going to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> how stupid. I will look it up and figure out how to get on that ship because I doubt I'm the only person who's had this problem. But uh, yeah, I meant to do more stuff this episode, but this is such like a big break that um, seems like a place to jump off. So kind of get here. If you're watching, thanks. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss future videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.